Let's take a look at volume questions. Now all of these are calculator questions if you want to use a calculator. So number one, what is the volume of the cuboid? Well, if it's three by six by three, all we need to do is multiply these dimensions together and three times six times three is 54 cubic centimeters. For question number two, it's two times three times by eight, which is 48 cubic centimeters. Question three, we're told it's a cube, so therefore all the dimensions are the same. So the calculation is four times four times four, which is 64 cubic centimeters. Question number four, we've been given the volume and we need to work out a side length. So the volume would be five times two times x. Five times two is 10, so 10 times by x is 40. So 10 multiplied by x equals 40. 10 times what is 40? Well, 10 times 4 is 40, so x equals 4. Let's just test this out. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 4, 40. Yes, it works. Question number 5, what we need to do is work out the volume of the ceramic. So what I would suggest is work out the volume as if this was a solid shape and then subtract the volume of the bit that's been cut out. So let's call the solid shape the sort of big volume and the bit that's cut out the small volume and then we just need to subtract the small volume from the big volume and we've got the volume of the ceramic. So the big volume is going to be 1 times by 1.5 times by 2.5 and the small volume is going to be 2.3 multiplied by 0 0.9 multiplied by 1.3. So the big volume comes to a total of 3.75 cubic meters and the little volume comes to 2.691. So therefore the volume of the ceramic is 3.75 minus the 2.671, and that comes to 1.059 cubic meters. Question number six, we've got to be a little bit careful here because the, uh, the, the rate that it's being filled up by is in cubic centimeters, but the hot tub has measurements of meters. So what I'm gonna do is convert these meters into centimeters. So it's gonna be 300 times by 150 times by 300. Uh, so therefore the volume or the capacity of the hot tub is gonna be 13 and a half million, 13 million 500,000 cubic centimeters. So if it's being filled up at 75 cubic centimeters per second, how long will it take to fill it up or how many 75s go into this figure? So we need to take this figure here and divide it by 75 and that comes to 180,000. Now since this was cubic centimetres and this is cubic centimetres per second, therefore this is the time which is in seconds. So what we want to do is to, uh, convert this into a more meaningful number. In fact, we've been told to turn it into hours. We need to divide it by 60 to, to turn it into minutes. And then if we'll divide it by 60 again to turn it from minutes into hours. So 180,000 divided by 60 divided by 60 works out as 50 hours.